title, X-rays. Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, a German physicist, accidentally discovered the X-rays in 1895. His discovery earned him the first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. On 8 November 1895, while working in his lab, Röntgen accidentally discovered some radiations having short wavelength and high energy. Cathode or anode? Title. He observed that these rays are emitted when cathode rays produced in a discharge tube are pointed to fall on a heavy metal target. Since these radiations were unknown at that time, so he named them the X-rays. They are also known as Roentgen rays. How X-rays are produced? When an electron in cathode ray hits a metal atom in the target, it can, if it has sufficient energy, knock out an electron from an inner shell of the atom. This produces a metal ion with an electron missing from an inner orbital. The electronic configuration of target metal becomes unstable. An electron from an orbital of higher energy drops into the half-filled orbital and a photon HV is emitted. The photon corresponds to electromagnetic radiations in the X-ray region. Properties of X-rays 1. The X-rays are electromagnetic radiations of very high frequency and energy. 2. Energy and 1 of X-rays depends upon the nature of anode. 3. Every metal has its own characteristics minus rays. 4. X-rays are emitted from the target in all directions. X-rays and the discovery of atomic numbers. Henry G. J. Mosley was an English physicist and student of Rutherford. In 1913 Mosley did systematic and comprehensive study of X-rays. Mosley studied a range of Wavelengths 0.04 to 0.08 degree U. Mosley's research. Mosley used the technique of X-ray spectroscopy for his experiments among X-ray diffractions. X-ray spectroscopy was a latest technique discovered by Max von Laue, a German scientist. Determination of atomic number. Mosley determined the atomic numbers of the elements using X-rays which produced in a cathode ray tube when the electron beam falls on a metal target. He analyzed the spectral lines obtained from 38 different metals used as targets. Mosley's experiment. Bombardment of different metals. With electrons to produce X-rays. Mosley proved that the frequencies of X-rays are directly proportional to the number of protons in the nucleus. He defined the number of protons in the nucleus as atomic number. Conclusions of Mosley's Analysis The spectral lines could be classified into two distinct groups. Lines of shorter wavelengths, K-series. Lines of longer wavelengths, L-series. If the target metal is of higher atomic number, the frequency of X-rays becomes higher. He formulated a relationship between frequency and atomic number of the elements which is called Mosley's Law. Mosley's Law The square root of frequency of a spectral line in X-ray spectrum varies as the atomic number of an element emitting it. Where and are constant quantities. This discovery changed the methods of classification of elements. The modern periodic table, we now use is also based on Mosley's findings. This was the time when World War I broke out in Western Europe. Mosley volunteered for the Royal Engineers of British Army. In a tragic loss to science, Mosley was shot and killed during the Battle of Gallipoli on 10 August 1915, at the age of just 27. A number of prominent authors have speculated that Mosley would have been deserving of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1916 which was awarded to nobody that year. Practical Applications of X-Rays 
After the discovery of X-rays by Roentgen in December 1895, scientists started experimenting with X-rays in order to find their practical applications. Since X-rays have different penetrating powers for different types of matter, so they can be used to photograph each interior of an object. Surgical assistance Since X-rays have different penetrating powers for different types of matter, so they can be used to photograph interior of an object. In January 1986, scientists successfully used X-rays to assist in setting a person's broken arm. Crystal Structures The layers of the closely packed particles in a crystal constitute planes. In 1912 Max von Laue suggested that the particles in a crystals might be separated by specific distances like a grating. Therefore a beam of X-rays should be diffracted by a crystal. This was quickly verified experimentally and a diffraction pattern of crystals was obtained on a photographic film proving that particles and planes of the crystals are symmetrically arranged. The pattern is known as Laue pattern of the substance. X-ray diffraction in 1913 William Bragg and Lawrence Bragg devised a simpler apparatus to determine the internal structure of a crystal, which is called X-ray diffraction technique. Subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Let's rock!